All right, in the category of best mom ever, mom sends kids to Universal Studios every day because it's cheaper than an after-school program. Is Vasquez. She says that this is a unique alternative to after-school program during her youth. So a woman on TikTok recalled her mother's unique alternative to after-school programs, right? 50, yeah. She has 57,000 followers on TikTok, and she explained her mom's hack for saving a little bit of money while ensuring her kids, you know, they're not home alone all day after school because she was w- busy working. So what'd she do? She got them an annual pass to Universal Studios, and they went there every day after school. Her mom realized that this annual pass was cheaper than an after-school program and said her school bus made a stop right in front of the theme park, meaning that she didn't even have to worry about transportation. This happened in 1998, so obviously back then the annual passes were a lot cheaper. But I do have to say, (laughs) annual passes for Universal Studios are a lot cheaper and easier to pay for over time than they are in Disney. Child care is expensive. It is. Imagine. So I think a universal pass right now for us as out of state uh, Florida residents cost about, uh, you know, let's say a roughly a thousand dollars a year. Yeah. What does help? What does child care cost? It's got to cost more than that. One million dollars. Now, here's the question to ask. Yes. Would you send your kids to Universal Studios? I mean, I know the kids would have a blast and they would yeah, they love would, it. Would they, you do that they, as an alternative to child care? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of a worry wart, so I don't know if I could do it, but I could definitely see how maybe your older kids and teenagers could be dropped off and you could, I think, work that into some kind of learning while they're there. I mean, now, this is the video from TikTok. Can I play it for you? Yeah, go ahead. All right. This is really funny. So my mom realized that it would be cheaper to get an annual pass to Universal Studios for two kids than it was to put us in an after school program. So me and my brother would take the bus after school every day to Universal Studios. <laughs> Cause our school bus dropped off literally right in front of the studios. So we would just go to Universal Studios after school every day. And my brother applied to be on um, Legends of the Hidden Temple and he tried out for it to play like, a couple times. But yeah, that's how I spent my after school days when I was in high school. Oh, so she was in high school when she did that. Done. I would do it. So would I. I would not only would I do it, if I was the kid, I would love that. I feel like you, if that was you and your mom your mom sent you to Universal Studios after school, you would end up performing in some sort of show. Yeah, didn't she say on this video how they tried, her brother tried to be a part of that? Yeah, but I feel like you would find a way to get it, make it happen. Oh, I would I would not take no for an answer. Your mom would be like, you know what, you don't have to go to Universal Studios <laughs> after school today because I don't have to work. And you'd, you'd, you'd say to her, nope. yeah, but I got a job there now. <laughs> I'm employed. I, they I need a, me. Yeah, I got a job. What do you mean I don't have to go? I got a job there now. You told me to go every single day. I was there so much. I got a job working as one of the street performers. <laughs> I would so make that happen. You have no idea. I got to tell yeah, this 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 made me realize how much I really want to move to Florida because you can technically do that, right? Even if it's not for childcare, go just go after school to one of the theme parks. How awesome is that? I mean, that's pretty awesome, and it's way cheaper to get annual passes if you're a Florida resident. That's also true. There was another article that we were going to talk about today. Maybe we'll do it in another video. By the way, hit that subscribe button. We're up to almost four thousand subscribers on the channel. Four million subscribers? Four million subscribers nice. here on the UTM TV channel. Hit the subscribe if you're watching on YouTube or if you are on Spotify or iTunes, wherever you listen to the podcast, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode in the future. We're going to do these videos like this pretty much a lot where we talk about theme parks, movies. A bunch of stuff. bunch of stuff. And we're going to pop culture, all things that are happening in the news, and we're going to talk about them on the podcast. Back to my Universal Studios annual pass thing. Yeah. There was another article that we were going to talk about today where it says somebody was canceling their Disney annual passes. Do you think annual passes are something that people should look into? Well, if yeah, I do. I think that it's helped us greatly. It, well, I mean, you've got to make sure that you live locally or you're going, you're able to get down wherever you're from, get down there easily. Otherwise. Yeah, or it's just like how many days are you going to go? If you're going to take yeah. two Universal vacations annual passes make it a little bit cheaper if you plan on going to the parks a lot at least that's what what, how we calculated it we did the math we did math not public math on the airs but we did math privately in the hotel room and it took us a little bit mental math but we did it out and 
we said, you know what? If we go this many days, annual passes work out to our benefit. So we we purchased them, and you can pay with them. You can pay with them monthly, so it's not as all upfront cost. Right. And you get certain benefits. I I I like Universal's annual passes now better than Disney's because there's no. You can just go whenever you want. Right. And that's what the huge benefit was in in the article they were saying they were canceling their Disney passes because of that that was one of the reasons why. Because people like to complain. Yes. <laughs> people love to complain, especially on the internet. It's so easy yeah. to do so. Right. But they were saying that it's not as easy to book your visits to Disney World if you're an annual pass holder like it was in the past. Right. So my question to you is do you think this reservation system's hanging out here for a long time? Yes. I do. Why? I think that it's a way for them to gauge how much supplies to get, how to staff. I think that it, it's more about that than it is actually guest experience because I think that no matter what, the parks are going to be feeling full anyway. But I do think it helps maybe less with less waste. Who knows? Yeah, I think maybe once we get past this whole – the 2020 effect is still – affecting everything right it's True. still affecting regular businesses it's still affecting these theme parks maybe once we get past this and which would be when i don't know but once we get i don't know if it's getting past it or people just start to figure out how we're living nowadays okay and we can get enough people to work in the restaurants and we can get enough people that want to work in the theme parks again and try to figure out how much compensation they'll need to get them to come back i think once they figure that out that's the only time i think it may go away yeah. But until that happens, I think we it is what it is. I agree. Well, back to the article that we posted here with this mom that's sending. So I I thought it was originally this mom, but it's so it's her mom that did it. Yeah, so she's talking about So where's the grandma now? I don't know, but that would be a good interview, wouldn't it? Like yeah. why did you do that? Why did you send your kid to Universal or what a smart lady. Right? Like, what an epic mom. Like, I really feel like she's was ahead of her time. Not only that, but, like, when your resources are limited, you are a lot more resourceful. You're definitely more creative. You have no choice. But that's where innovation and so many great ideas happen. Magic Band plus, plus, plus. The after school program, Magic Band. That's <laughs> right? what they should do at Universal and Disney. They should give you a, a, a pass that lets you come into the parks for a couple hours after school just to hang out while your parents finish work. And let's not disregard how much learning these kids were actually doing, not just riding rides, but you have to interact socially with cast members. You have to probably buy and pay for your own stuff, so you have to have that kind of kind of skill. So that's those are life skills that can't really be taught in a classroom, so I'm applauding this mom. And well, I don't know if I'd do any of those if I was a kid. I would just no. be going from ride to ride and eating food. Where are you going to get the food? From the carts. You have to talk to people. Do you really, though? Maybe. You can yeah. just point, and they tell you the price, and you just hand them money. Maybe. Maybe so. But I do think it, it at least shows independence, which I think is a skill that many people um, don't have. So I think that all in all, I would love to find – so it's her So it's her mom. I'd love to find her mom. Hopefully she's still around, and we could chat with her to say, hey, how, how does it feel to be ahead of your time like Kate Bush? Well, her inst uh, TikTok handle is Chef Liv Vasquez. Okay. So I'm sure you could follow her on TikTok and then shoot her a message. I don't know how messages work on TikTok, but I'm sure you could shoot her a message or a comment and say, hey, I would love to kind of hear a follow-up TikTok about maybe you should get your mom on your TikTok yeah. and have her explain the reasoning behind why she did that because she doesn't really say why she did it. She just talks about how her mom did it. Cool. That would be interesting. Yeah. All right, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you back here on the next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here. Don't forget, we have a new video like this every week on the channel and on Spotify and iTunes. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.